to... Well, I'll start with George Green. Okay. Um, this is Patrick Nutt, ex Longwood Gardens. Um, I was very, very fortunate to be able to study and work under George Harry Pring when he came to Longwood in 1957 as a consultant. His son-in-law, Russell J. Seibert, also an ex-student from St. Louis Botanical Gardens, was the director of Longwood Gardens at that time. And one of their goals was to successfully um, hybridize the two existing Victorias at that time. Pring, in spite of all his great record at St. Louis, had never been able to grow both species, even though James Gurney, one of his predecessors there, had successfully grown the more tender of the two species. Incredibly, the seed of Victoria Amazonica, which I knew as a student, of course, as Victoria Regia, came from Glasnevin Botanical Gardens, Dublin, Ireland. Dr. Walsh kindly sent a seed in 1960. We were able to successfully germinate the seedlings, grow the plants on, and later that year, several pollinations were carried out uh, which proved to be successful. The next year viable seed was sent to many gardens all over the world and even in time seed was sent back to Glasnevin and since that time um, my work has been carried on by several Longwood employees. Bill Pearson was one followed by Ted Acorn, followed by Tim Jennings, who is assisted uh, very strongly by Ed Summers, who is now on our staff at Longwood. It's been very successfully grown by Ken Landon in San Angelo, or uh, San, yeah, I better get my location correct, hope you can. Ken's in San Angelo. Oh, it is St. Angelo, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. And uh, we've had a, a mutual exchange of plants and seeds probably over the past 25 years. And you've been down there a few times? Or? Only once, a pilgrimage. Once. We were very fortunate. It was a good year.